All right, in this DIY Nate video, I'm showing a quick hack on how to make ice for your uh, cooler or your bucket in my case. Uh, Tis the summer season, getting ready to uh, go out on the porch and have some cold beers. So with this uh, this little trick uh, I picked up over the years, I really hate paying a dollar to three dollars for a bag of ice. And uh, most of the time I don't need a ton of ice, um, but it can wear out your ice maker when you're um, you know, going through the effort of, you know, draining your ice maker to fill a cooler. So, uh, what's my solution? Well, um, for me, I'll show you what we got here. Um, I like to take milk jugs and fill them up with, uh, water. And, uh, over time, you know, you can basically take these milk jugs, you fill them with a, uh, a level of, uh, water and you end up with a big chunk of ice. So, uh, in my garage, I'll take it and I'll smash it. So, um, here we go. And now I've got a good set of ice here. And see so if you can get a good shot there of the ice bucket. And then we'll throw some beers in here, some of the classics. We got the good stuff, of course, only for my viewers. Uh, we got a little high life there. How about some Keystone? And another Keystone, maybe another high life. And yeah, that's uh, we're working it for today, Friday, it's happy hour. Bucket doesn't take much to fill. And of course, you could use this with a cooler. You end up with some big chunks sometimes and that's great actually because they don't melt nearly as fast and they do uh they do keep things nice and cold so at this point you can kind of see what my bucket looks like let me set this out on the porch and uh, i'll give you a couple of the other pointers with this too so so okay so here's what we got going on uh this is a sam's club uh, milk jug but any milk jug will work uh the way i usually do this i take a pair of scissors I happen to love these Cutco Super Shears, um, so uh, you, know, you can check those out if you're interested. And I cut a around the top here in a kind of half, uh, half moon formation here, and you end up with something that looks like this. Uh, then you can just take that and slide this over this way, fill this up water once you're done filling it and just drop it in the fridge um, and then that's all you got to do you can also fill it up uh, without cutting and then smash it and cut it it's just harder to cut once once you uh once you cut it open uh, it's a lot easier to do it when uh, it's not full of ice because uh, it's really hard to cut unless you just fill it about that high and then you can still cut the top off but um, a couple ways to handle this, but this is a pretty good one uh, from my perspective. So I hope you enjoy it, uh, get some use out of it, save you a few bucks on ice, and uh, thanks again for watching this DIY Nate video. All right, so you can see my uh, my cut up milk jug here, and this is one I've used a few different times. Um, after a few uses, you need to throw them out. We get through a lot of milk, so it's pretty easy for us to, you know, make these things on the fly. I usually just use a little uh, box cutter, slice off the top, make it with a handle. But also I like to have the opening front uh, so that when I smash it, the ice just pours out, makes like a nice little pail. But you're gonna see one of the key features of this pan um, is when you've put a hole or you banged them on the ground enough, you're gonna see that water will probably drip out. This one got a little bit of slow drip there. Uh, maybe, maybe it doesn't have any holes yet. Um, this other guy also, I've been using him. He's, sorry, um, and you can kind of see that how I use this. I basically put both of these guys in my, um, you know, in here. And now any spillover water uh, will go in here. You can see there's some spilling out the side here. So it's going to fill up the space a little bit. And uh, it also lets me carry it outside without having to worry about uh, any drips on the floor or anything like that. So um, so that's how I do that. Um, we'll go put that in the, uh, the freezer and you'll see. Uh, that I'll be replenished for uh, today's Friday evening. I'm filled my bucket, and so tomorrow when I decide to go to the pool, if I go to the pool, I'll have ice ready to roll without having to burn out my freezer, which in one of my other videos, you've probably seen me repair my freezer, uh, my ice maker, because, um, you know, the water valve got plugged up. So when you drain all that ice out, there's not, mine doesn't make a ton of ice. Um, so if it doesn't make a ton of ice, I hate to use it for uh, filling a cooler, or and I definitely hate spending the extra 3 to $5, uh, especially in a shelter-in-place world where uh, we're trying to avoid contact at the grocery store or gas station. Really nice to have your ice ready to go. Um, and I love ice. I love a cold, cold beer. So 
Um, that's your DIY pointer for the week. Hope you enjoyed it and take care. Thanks. All right, there we are. You can see the water jugs put in there in the metal pan. This will freeze up nicely. I've got a couple other backup jugs ready to go. Um, so I can just smash those open. Sometimes I'll even fill up a, uh, an entire jug without cutting the top off and just have that on reserve standby. Um, then I'll just slice here, slice around the side, slice back up, open it up and crack it open and uh, get plenty of ice out that way as well. So a little bit of a hassle, um, but on the flip side, it's way better than going out and buying ice. In my opinion, I'm that cheap. Uh, I'm not going to spend $3 for ice, uh, something I can spend virtually nothing for. For uh, One of the key features that I have found over the years is having a metal a metal pan, if you've got one, um, works really well because metal won't crack when you break it, when you drop it. And you can end up with a bunch of water in the metal pan that actually makes a nice, uh, nice ice base as well. This is also great when you start working with these plastic milk jugs, they will get... Um, the plastic milk jugs will also get cracks in them and it's really annoying when it leaks all over your fridge. So by having this uh, this metal pan that serves two purposes, it catches any uh, slow leak in the milk jug after you've been banging on it for a long time. Um, or uh, it also serves as a great way to um, you know fill up your uh, uh, your ice bucket because the metal pan will crack nicely with the, uh, the ice. So hope you enjoyed this video, save a few bucks every week. Um, and also it's a, a nice handy trick to keeping your cooler full, getting your ice cold beers uh, going. So uh, if you like this, I'd love to hear your tips and pointers. You probably have your own hacks that you use for the same kind of problem. Um, but certainly for me, it's one that I've used for the last couple of years and really loved it. So enjoy. Thanks. All right. This has been another episode of DIY Nate. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment, and check out my website if you get a chance. Um, in the comments, you can find out how to get there. Really appreciate all the support. Thanks. Have a great day.